Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show why you do not want to get any information from the internet. There's morons everywhere. I'll show you. So one place you think that's probably safe to go and get answers to your photography questions is a photography discussion page on say Facebook. Well, I'm going to show you why that's not a good idea. I'm going to give you a few of the questions and I'm going to give you some of the craziest answers you've ever seen in your life. I know that everybody in the world, half of them think they're professional photographers. It drives me crazy. What you going to do? This is what I'm talking about. Okay. First question. What is the best picture style for indoor and outdoor with the Canon camera? Jeffrey says faithful and neutral. I responded to this one. I put shoot in raw. He responded to my answer with this. He put, I shoot in raw. But what about the picture style? I'm in a dilemma. Okay, first of all, if you're shooting in RAW, there is no picture style. That's JPEGs only. And people are on here telling him how to set for his JPEGs, and he says he shoots in RAW. It's insanity. Why are these people answering questions that they have no idea what the answer is? But this is not the only one. Let's keep going. The next question. I'm looking for a macro lens for my wife for Christmas. Something that won't break the bank, maximum 250. Remember that, maximum 250 for her to spend. She currently uses a 70D. Trenton says, Takina makes a 100 millimeter full frame version of the EF100 F2.8 for around $429 on Amazon. Thanks for that help because her budget maximum is 250 and you're telling her to buy a $429 lens, so that won't work. Again, why are you even answering this question? You have no idea are you just too stupid to realize she didn't say the maximum was 250? And this one, this one's one of them that really makes me want to shoot myself. What type of camera card does the Canon R5 take? I got a lot to say about this one, but I'll give you some of the answers first. Ian says one SD slot and one compact flash slot. Okay, my God. Okay. It doesn't use a compact flash. And the question, if you've got a Canon R5, that's about a $3,500, $4,000 camera. Why do you have this camera if you don't even know what kind of memory card it takes? Definitely don't want to listen to Ian because he wants you to put a compact flash card in it. So that's not right. These answers just give me a headache. I'm like, if I'm on a medical site, I'm not going to start, oh, somebody's like, I forgot a fever and I feel sick and my heart hurts and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to go in there and say, oh, well, I got a stethoscope, so what I would do is go see a PA. <laughs> oh my God, the heck, a compact flash card? They, those, those are for old cameras. The R5 uses a SD and a CFE card. It does not use a compact flash card. It's no wonder that so many people think they're professional photographers because they are apparently full of answers. Now they're all wrong, but they're full of answers. So let's get going. For my sports photographer folks, I am looking for the best combo that won't break the bank. Just finished my first season as a photographer for the Women's Semi-Pro Soccer League here in Georgia. The game started at 7 and around 9 p.m. under high school stadium lights, ISO on my R6 was around 8 to 10,000. But even crop, there was very little noise, so I used my 70 to 200 2.8. However, when the team's at the other end of the field, I would like a little more reach. So this guy named Daniel, not this Daniel, but the guy on here named Daniel put, I only deal with much wider lenses, so I'm no help. Thanks. That helped him a lot. Make a note, Daniel only doesn't use much wider lenses, so he's no help. You could have just not answered the question. Anyway, I, I don't know what good that helped. Poor Doug, he's trying to figure this out. A again, if he's a professional photographer and he's shooting women's semi pro soccer, you would think he would know this information himself, but moving along. Here's one. Thanks for accepting me. I am a total beginner with not a clue how to take photos of the Northern Lights. Any tips would be great. Thank you in advance. Michael says, you've come to the right place. These people are good. No, they are not good. They're idiots. They're not good. Don't listen to a freaking word these people are saying. 90% of everything is wrong. We'll go on to the next one. Sorry about that. Thinking of upgrading my Canon 100 to 400 IS USM lens to the Mark II, will I notice a big difference between the two? Doug says, yes. Right below that, Heidi says, no. That's helpful. Yes and no. And nobody wants to expound on why yes or why no. They just throwing this out so like they know what the heck they're talking about. But that's okay. There's a third answer from Rob. It says, I never went past the original version. 
Again, that's no help. If you don't have any of the answers, don't answer the freaking question. And especially don't answer it with a wrong answer. It blows my mind. It's no wonder that so many people think they're professional photographers. They take terrible pictures. They'll say, you know, I've had people come to me, uh, I'm a professional photographer, and they'll be shooting with like an iPhone or just some crazy old freaking camera. And I'm not saying old cameras aren't good, but I'm just saying, are you really going to book 50 weddings a year if you're shooting with a Canon 10D? Give me a break. And you got a kit lens on there? That's not going to happen. All right, here we go. Looking to upgrade to a mirrorless full frame. I currently own and I currently have an R10. I love the size and weight, but I need a full frame. I primarily take portraits and graduation photos and use a 50 millimeter 1.8. Any suggestions of which R series to upgrade to? I have one of my questions is if these people are already photographing professionally, if you're doing portraits and graduation portraits, you don't know what kind of lens you need. It's really, it makes no sense. If you got a camera and you, and you got a, and you shoot portraits or you shoot graduations, you should know already what you're doing. Don't go on a site and go, I'm shooting portraits and graduation, but I don't have any kind of idea what kind of lens I got on here, but leave it to these experts. They will tell you. First one, Aaron, Aaron says, Get an R8 or an R6 or a 6 Mark II. Well, thank you. That's three cameras and you didn't say anything else about them. Now this one, Camera Jockey. That name is funny. Camera Jockey. Oh, Camera Jockey has the answer here. I don't understand what a full frame brings to the portrait game that justifies the expense other than just a little better low noise. Oh my God, it does so much more than just a little bit of noise. I, and this is a guy named Camera Jockey. He's probably got a hundred people listening to what he says. First of all, if you think that a crop sensor or a micro four thirds camera is going to give you better quality than a full frame, you just need to move on. Now there are certain times like wildlife photographers, if they need extra reach, they can go for a crop sensor. There are, there's always an exception to the rule, but overall, if, if you're doing portraits, full frame just can't be beat. I don't care what brand it is. A full frame is going to give you a better depth of field. Your lenses, if it says 50, it's going to be a 50. It says 85, it's going to be an 85. When you go to crop sensors, you've got to add that crop over there. You don't get the same depth of field. There's so much more than just low light performance that you're going to get with a full frame over a crop sensor. All right. Well, that's enough ranting for me today. It's just frustrating as a photographer for over 40 years and you meet so many people they ask what you do and you tell them you're a professional photographer and they say, oh, so am I. I'm like, okay, I've lost almost all respect for anybody that tells me they're a professional photographer too. Now, occasionally you'll run into some good ones. I ran into a guy the other day who really knew what he was doing. But 99% of the time when these people tell me they're a professional photographer, I can handle my Canon R6. They wouldn't know how to turn it on. But what gets me is they answer questions with the wrong answers. That's worse than just shutting up. If you don't know the answer or you're not sure of the answer, don't give an answer just to be given an answer. You're telling somebody wrong information. It's just stupid. So that's my rant for the day. I just don't understand it. All my life, so many people have told me they're a professional photographer. They've turned out to be iPhone users or just something silly. They've, I don't know. It so frustrates me. So, but here in our area years ago, we used to have problems with people. They would say they're a wedding photographer. People used to call me. How much is your wedding? And then we discuss it and I tell them like, then they would call me back and say, well, it's a little bit expensive. We're going to go with somebody else down the road. I'm like, that's fine. I understand that. And they call me two, three, four weeks later. Oh my God, our photographer messed up the pictures. Can you help us? I'm like, not now. I can't. Now that it's been shot wrong or blurry or out of focus, or he didn't get the images out of her eyes last year. Photographer never gave her anything. He disappeared. Well, answer. So if you're getting a price and it seems too good to be true, and guess what? It's too good to be true. Let a professional handle your stuff. Look at, if you're looking for a professional, look at their website. See if they're members of the Professional Photographers of America. Contact some of their previous clients. Just get your ducks in a row and get it right because you just can't trust what people say, especially on the internet. That's it for today, guys. I'm going to stop my complaining right there and let me know if we're helping you guys out. And please hit subscribe. Y'all have a good day.